Hey guys, Rusty here, and I'm going to show you how to get a super easy and technically secret mount, and that's going to be the Temperamental Skyclaw. This thing, this mount looks like a dragon banged fox. Don't worry about the size difference there. They worked it out. Anyways, this mount is super easy to get, guys, so let's get started. Now, before you even go after the mount, you're going to need three things. You're going to need th 20 of three different types of food. Now, the first type of food is super easy. That's going to be Nolan's House Special. You can, by the way, all these foods, you can just buy out in the auction house if you don't feel like farming them out. And Nolan's House Special, guys, you can farm this out, but this one is super, 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 like super cheap on the auction house. It's going for silver on my server. I just don't even farm this out. Just buy 20 of these on the auction house. Now, the next one is going to be Tuscar Jerky. You're going to need 20 of these, and you can buy these on the auction house as well. However, the Tuscar Jerky is a lot more expensive right now than Nolan's House Special. I think it was five or 600 gold on my server. So if you want to spend all that gold and buy it, you can. Otherwise, just go to where I am on the map. I'll show you in the video. And then just start farming out the gnolls in this area, and they all have a chance to drop Tuscar Jerky. Again, you need 20 of them. Now, the final food you need is going to be flash frozen meat. Just head to where, over, where I am on the map, and you can farm that out, killing the gnolls in that area, or you can buy them on the auction house. Now, according to Wowhead, and also that's some of the sentiment in the Wow community right now, is that you need to complete the quest True Survivors in order to actually get this meat to drop. However, in my experience, guys, first of all, I've barely done any side quests in the Azure span. I've only done a few wanted quests, and I haven't even really started any of the uh, the chain quest for the, the the side quest chains for the achievement. Point being, I've done like no side quests in Azure span, and I'm still able to get the flash frozen meat to drop. Therefore, I don't think uh, Wildhead has it correct, in my experience at least. You don't need to do true survivors any of the side quests in order to get this flash frozen meat to drop. That's just my experience, so do let me know in the comments down below. And if you do need to complete a quest for it, I will pin a comment, so do keep an eye out for that. Anyways, once you have 20 of, again, Nolan's House Special, Tuscar Jerky, and the flash frozen meat, just head to where I am on the map. You're going to talk to this troll dude over here. His name, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nail this name, you ready? Zanwagi. Funny name. Anyways, talk to him go through the dialogue, and if you have all the meats, he will just hand you the mount. It's honestly, I mean, guys, it's not a terrible looking mount. I don't hate it, but it's also not a dragon riding mount. However, we gotta collect them all, right? So, you might as well go and get the mount. Super easy to get. Get it, knock it out in like five minutes, especially if you just buy the stuff off the auction house. Obviously, it'll take a little longer if you decide to farm the food out, but it's super easy to get. Anyways, guys, that's it. If you have a question at all, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the back-to-back -back videos, and until next time, guys, later! I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. Halo 3, guys? Best Halo. That's a fact. Halo 2, second best Halo. And just, just real quick, just to clarify, this is Halo 3. Halo 2 is like, it's like, it's like right here. It's like right here. It's really close. But Halo 3 is the best Halo. All right, later, guys.